nothing but a man with a wound. That's all. That's all. That's all she is. You ain't never met a man with the wound. That's all you are. That's why that's why you see them kick fighting and boxing and climbing trees and thinking they can go over a mountain. But if when it comes to domestic violence, you still a woman. Come on, Come on, man's supposed to be beating on a woman. Why? Because every time you beat on a woman, you beat on the bride. There's a lot of people that's unsaved that don't realize that when they fight with a woman, when they argue with a woman, they argue with God and you can't win. That's why you'll never win an argument with a woman because she's you cannot win. You can fuss, fight, go to the toilet, I don't care what you do. You still ain't gonna win. God. He deals with judgment. He deals with righteousness. Now listen, you got to deal with something here. I know what I said. I know what I said. I know where I'm going. Say he know where he's going. He know where he's going. He ain't lost. He's not lost. And never was lost. And never was lost. When he was in law. When I was lost, I wasn't lost. Because God knew where I was when I was lost. Therefore, if he knew where I was, I know I'd be lost. I know I wasn't lost. I just came to myself. But the Bible said when the prophet's son came to himself and he wanted to stop eating with the swine, he came to himself. He said, How many hired servants? My father got some servants. My father's got some servants over there. I don't care how long Benny Hinn been out. I don't care how long Miles Monroe been out. I don't care how long these preachers went out. I'm coming in, pay me the same thing you paid them. They been out here longer than me. But I'm going to get the same way. I ain't got to wait for a promotion. All I got to do is say yes to the call. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say it like a baby. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you want to get paid, if you want what God has for you, if you want what God gonna give you in this season, you got to tell him yes. You gonna get paid the same thing. The same reward, Paul. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Watch this. Let me show you something here. Let me get my Bible from the house. Jesus. I had this Bible about 15 years. Let's hear it. Now watch that. Turn to Ephesians. Ephesians. And the reason I want to go to Ephesians chapter 4. I'll wait, I'll wait. So your name is great. So your name is great. And great is to be great. Your name, Jesus. Your name is great. Holy Spirit, we yield to you. Let's get some solid meat. Let's get some solid meat. Right. Right. He says, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord. Oh my God. He said, I'm a prisoner. He said, I'm a prisoner of the Lord. Who are you a prisoner of? Are you a prisoner of sound? Are you a prisoner of the left? Are you a prisoner of the left? Are you a, come on, what are you a prisoner of? He said, I'm, I'm a prisoner of the Lord. He said, I'm beseeching you. I'm, I'm you, I, I, I want to bring you to a place that 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 you walk worthy of your vocation. He said, "This is a vocation. I ain't got no for a job. I got it." And then, and then, and then, yeah. Sometimes the wages get a little thin. 
yeah. But the living get the yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. uh -huh. But wages yeah. may be thin. That's it. Yeah. But the living is wages. Yeah. Is good. Yeah. 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 And if you live, like the old folks say, if you live long yeah. enough, yeah. baby. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Somebody say, Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, He is. My mother is 74. She ain't never been seen. Praise God. Oh, taste and see. I've been sick one time in my whole life. Mm -hmm. One time in my whole life I've been sick. I'm almost sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, 55 and a half. I'm a There you go. Ball and chain on me. If you don't think so, who will? Talk about she gonna marry CJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all say I'm gonna oh, marry Roberto Black. Say you go ahead and get Steve Harvey. I like Roberto Black. Oh, 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 what's that lady name that sings with, with the pips? Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight was on TV. I got mad. I said you man, you mentioned Steve Harvey again. I'm gonna marry Gladys Knight. <laughs> Keep on our toes and put it all in. But listen to this. What are you a prisoner of? That's what I'm trying to get to you. What are you a prisoner of? Now listen to this. With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Boy, you marry long enough, you're going to learn how to walk in love. You keep, you, you keep. You keep your brothers and your sisters around, you'll learn how to learn. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Endeavoring mm -hmm. to keep the unity yes, of the yes, spirit. Yes, and that's what God is trying to get us into. A unity of the spirit. See, I'm a voice, you are echo. You are the echo of what the voice is saying. So if I'm the angel of the house, therefore God has to move in the house. God got to move. Say, God got to move. God's got to move. God's gotta move. God's gotta move. God's gotta move in here. God, 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 whatever you need, God got to give it to you. Yes, God. He got you. Because he's got an angel in the house. That's right. God got to give it to you. God got to respond to you. Yes, he does. He said in verse number number four, there is one body. We are the body. There is one body. One spirit. Even as you are called in one hope of your call. Amen. You got one call. That's the serve Jesus. Yeah. There's yeah. one spirit. Yeah. One hope. Yeah. Hope, yeah. hope ain't in nobody else yeah. if his name ain't Jesus. Yeah. They can get them people off the mountain up there and you say, do you know what they believe? They believe in the seven angels. Mm -hmm. yes. And they believe in God. But they don't believe that Jesus died on the cross. Oh. Yes. 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 Watch this. Verse 5. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. You got to believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection. The Bible says you are baptized into the death. But when Christ died on the cross, you died on the cross. You ain't got to wait to go through. He already been through, so you can come out. Amen. Verse number six. Yes. One God. Mm -hmm. Then why are we calling on Hindu gods? Mm -hmm. Why are we calling on Buddha? Why are we calling on Islam? It says there's one God. It's just one God. Let me tell you something. My wife had a dream. She said, honey, I saw a witch coming in the house, walking down the hall. And so I meditated on it. I said, honey, let me tell you something. God said that he, you, we shall not suffer the no no That's what it means. That's what it means. That's right. Say we shall not suffer. We shall not suffer. A witch to live. To live. 
That's why I have a legal right yes, to decree yes, 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 Mama, that man was like a bully. He, I, I mean, he, he, he would yeah. harass me. And I would get intimidated. Mm -hmm. I went home one day. One, one, yeah. Saturday, one Friday yeah. night. He, 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 he oppressed me so bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, in about, in front of about 20, yeah, 30 people. Yeah. 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 I had a dream of a monkey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A red monkey just as red as the sun that said the Holy Ghost. And I saw this monkey just jumping around, and I saw an arm and a whip. Yeah. And you know how that whip go? Yeah. And that monkey disappeared. I went to work, and that boy ain't never come back to that job to this day. That's right. That's what I say. God will not suffer a witch. He will not do it. I know He will not. Amen. Oh Lord, I know He will not. Watch this. Be sure to wait. That means if you have a rebellious spirit, because rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, so you could be walking in rebellion and not obeying God and be under a spirit of witchcraft. Amen. Amen. Hey, sir, America deal with this crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Every time you go to the doctor and they prescribe yeah. prescription drugs, uh -huh. let's talk Let's talk about Viagra, let's yeah. talk about Claritin, yeah. let's talk about all these drug commercials you see. Yeah. And then one symptom going to give you 20 side effects. That is a drug. That is witchcraft. It is pharmacos. And what they're trying to do is enhance the money in the health care. It's your expense. It's your health expense. Let me tell you about it, bro. God called me, first started dealing with me in 1991 with the, the office of the apostle. The office of the prophet. Seven years later, he called me to the office of the uh, 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 Apostle, instrumental. Watch this. I was in my house in Los Angeles, and this prophet came to me, and he said, "God called you to be a prophet." And I start running in the house, and I start crying, and I said, "I can't do it. I can't do it." I was one hour dead. Four years later, I was in the hospital, bleeding from my back, bleeding from my front. I couldn't go to the bathroom for nine days, and this. Counselor came to me in my seventh day and he said, You know, God said you've been dealing with witchcraft. I know I hadn't been to Louisiana. I know I wasn't dealing with witchcraft. And the thing that God brought to me that I rejected him when he called me to the office of their prophet. When I repented on the ninth day, I went to the bathroom, the blood dried up on the ninth day. A person in intensive care. God, God spoke to me and said, that was a ransom for you. Get up, get up out of this bed. I had the men of the church come down to the Fort Worth Hospital and we walked around with a banner saying, Jesus. You better search your life and find out where you in rebellion. Search your life. Move that chair so they can get in. Hallelujah. You got to find out where you walking in rebellion. You got to find out where rebellion is in your life. You got to find out. Yes, you do. Oh, my God. You keep making excuses. That's true. And before you know it, it'll be Tuesday. Come on, man. Then Thursday. And you still make an excuse. You know what an excuse is? A God in life. She remembers. Like that. That's so right. she remember. Remember. Uh -huh. A guarded lie. That's what it is. You're trying to hide something that has no value. And so the lie becomes greater than the truth. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's an excuse. Whoa. 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 Chapter 1, chapter 4 of Ephesians. Yes, Lord. Verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace. God has given all of us grace. Yes, Verse number 7, Ephesians chapter 4. Yeah. According to the measure of the gift. Yeah. 
What is your measure? Yes. Yes. You have a measure of the gift. Yes, you, do. you don't have all the gift. No, That's why we got yes. to have a five-fold yes. ministry. Yes. And not just a bunch of churches with pastors. Lord, no. But you got to have the prophet. Yes. You got to have an evangelist. Yes. Yes. You got to have a teacher. Yes. You got to have a five-fold yes. ministry. That's what God is after this. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on, Apostle. You got to walk right and live. You got to talk right, live right. Watch this. So then, then, then watch this now. This is, watch, oh, oh, this is so good. This is the man of God talking to the bride, the woman of God. Telling the bride, giving the bride instruction on how she going to stay safe. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't have two heads. You can't have two heads. Now sometimes you might have a man in the house that's weaker than a woman. Yeah. You respect him as the man. Yeah. And if he don't follow Christ, yeah. you don't have a legal right to follow him. I know you right. How can a man guide himself when he can't hear God? Wow. Are you right? And who you listening to? Wow. I'll tell you what he listening to. Right he listening to that pornography at night when he get up. Oh, 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 That's why he got to get out of the bed and run to the store. At 11 o'clock at night. Oh, my God. Oh, oh you ain't got the light. Me. But you, you got, got the love. Oh, 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 you got the love. He didn't say like me. He said love, oh, though. Yeah. Love that. So, what's love? If you don't let him in and out, how much more, more love you going to give your oh, 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 you oh, 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 going to love your enemy, how much more love you going to give your enemy? Hallelujah. Love is the only thing that's going to change. Because destiny is upon you. So when love come on your life, destiny opens up in your life. And then the Holy Ghost begins to lead your life. Listen, listen to what I have. Listen to what Jesus said. Listen to what Jesus said. Verse number, verse number uh, um, eight. Wherefore, he said, "Yeah, come on now." When he ascended up on high, he gave, he let captivity captivity and gave gifts unto me. Yes, he did. So he's saying that you was a prisoner. Yes. And 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 and, and, and Mark, and Peter, and, and John, and and Luke, and. James, they were captive to sin. Mm -hmm. But when he ascended mm -hmm. into another realm, the finished yes. work, amen, that's true. He gave gifts. Yes. He's looking down from heaven. He got plenty of gifts. And parting the gifts into men. Yes. Don't make no difference if you're a woman. You just don't a man right. with the womb. Yeah, that's, right. right. that's all. In other words, he said, upon woman, I'm going to give them an extra gift. Ooh, okay, okay. Come on, Papa. See, upon woman, I'm going to give her something extra. Yeah. Upon woman, I'm going to give her something that is so profound oh, that he, know, right, even yeah. when a man see it, he's going to have to do flips. Sure. Oh, God, God. <laughs> I'm going to give a woman something that is so great I'm going to put it in a mystery wrap it in an enigma and send it back wrapped in flesh look at your neighbor I want all the women to look at your neighbor and say that you bad. You bad. You bad. Say that. Say, come on, look at you. Look at the woman. Say, woman, you bad. Woman, you bad. Come on, look at it. Come on, all of men. Look at the woman. Say, women, you bad, mama. Let's go, Tony. You bad. Come on, let me get a pop You bad. Come on, you know how they used to do this. You bad, mama. Come on. Hey, woman is so bad. Bad. She influenced a man from another country by telephone. No. A woman is so bad. She can say, Mama, what happened? Look at her. I'm going to get the grin on. I'm going to get the grin on. A woman is so bad. She can just say one word. One word. 
That's right. That's right. Yes, Lord. I'm almost done. Yeah, but I'm going to cover this prayer point. Thank you, Father. I'm going to cover this prayer point. Thank you, Father. I want us to go to the book of Acts. Thank you, Father. That's where I'm trying to get to with all of that. Yeah. Acts yeah. chapter 1 and verse 14. On, Acts chapter 1 and verse 14. Yeah. Now let me tell you how I got here. In April, I begin to discuss the blood moon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. April the 14th, during Passover, we instituted taking the first fruit and we instituted taking the, taking the offering and giving first fruit at the beginning of every month. When we came out of first fruit and we came out of the blood moon, that was the Passover. Jesus had to take the Passover even though he was the Passover. Yeah. Watch this. Now. now, when we came out of uh, the Passover, it was the blood moon. Israel went in the war several weeks later. Now Gaza's in war because every time there is a blood moon, there is a war. There's going to be three more blood moons, one in October and another one in April and October of 2015. So the escalation of racial tension in America, the escalation of what's happening in the Middle East is going to rise. Even the economy now that's in Ghana, that's losing its value by over 30 percent. Even what's happening in Liberia. Now watch what you what you're gonna do. Because we came into Passover. Yeah. We came out of Passover, celebrating the Passover, yeah. celebrating the consecration, and then we begin to walk in 50 days of faith. Yes. So I begin to realize it wasn't 50 days. 50 days just represented the day that the Holy Ghost fell on the 50 days, but we're really in a season of faith. So during the season of faith, we came back and began to teach on faith. We had a conference, we got sidetracked, and now this week God said, get back on your assignment. And I said, God, now what happened? As we celebrated faith in the 50 days that Jesus was on the earth, he ascended up on I, and now that he ascended, he's given direction to the body, he's given direction to the apostle. He said, go and wait. That's right. That's right. A lot of us don't want to wait. A lot of us, you're afraid to take 15 minutes and get in the prayer. You're afraid to take 30 minutes and get in the prayer. You're afraid to take a half an hour and get in the prayer. You're afraid to stay in prayer for an hour. The Bible says, could you not pray one hour? So the ordained time yes. which was spoken by the chief apostle and the bishop of our soul was one hour. Yes. If you're not spending an hour oh, in, church, in, in prayer with God, yes. something's wrong with you. Yes. Yes. I'm not talking to people that are novices. I'm talking to people that are mature yes. in the word. Yes. Yes. You've been around this thing. Yes. 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 Now watch this thing. When you are in prayer, you pray without ceasing. Yes. Yes. That's how you pray. Acts 1 and 14. Yes. It says, Acts 1 and 14. These all continue stood With one accord in prayer and supplication, meaning they were making a request. That's true. That's right. That's right. They were asking God for something. Mm -hmm. yes. And with the women and Mary, the mother. You always got to have a mother in the church. Of Jesus. And with the brethren. Amen. When we come together in this type of anointing, mm -hmm. it's when the strong hold yes. of demonic yes. oppression is broken. Amen. In the spirit form. Yes. Watch this now. Go to uh, Acts 2.42. Acts 2.42. It says, and they continue steadfastly yes. in the apostles' 
doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread. Listen to the listen to the dimensions. First of all, there has to be a continuation of something. Yes. When you continue the fellowship, when you continue to come, when you continue to ask God to thrust you, to ask God to bring you growth, when you get into the doctrine or the word, the doctrine is another word for the teaching ministry of Jesus or the teaching ministry of the Holy Ghost, not the teaching ministry of a man, not the teaching ministry of a woman, but the teaching ministry of the Holy Ghost. This is not the dispensation of Jesus. Jesus is not in the earth realm. Come on. Come on. When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. He gives up to men. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Yes, amen. Amen. Jesus said, It is expedient that I go away. I got to go. I can't stay here. Because if I stay here, the Holy Ghost ain't going to come. But he said, I'm going to send you another cover. I'm not going to let you be by yourself. I'm going to send you another cover. And that's the Holy Ghost. And that's why you got to get, you got to focus this season on the Holy Ghost. You got to get into the Word and see how the Holy Ghost was moving. And begin to watch the Holy Ghost move in your life. It says, I'm going to send you another cover. Now look at verse 46. Acts chapter 2. And they continued daily. How often did they pray? Daily. How often did they pray? Daily. daily. And so you think it's a burden if I ask you to pray once a week? Amen. Come on here now. Daily. Come on. Look here. They ain't have no cause. Well, daily. They ain't have no cause. Daily. We didn't have none either. Let me tell you something. The church I come out of. It's, the, the church I come out of it, 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 in America is considered something. In Africa, it might be, it, it might not be much. Twenty-four thousand. Church I come out of. Twenty-four thousand. The church started with fifty. Now watch this. Watch this now. From the moment they established that church, they had a mother. Mother Mana. Mother Mana. And Bishop was in that church. When Bishop took over that church, a hundred people walked out, fifty people stayed. Now watch this. There was an elder, his name was Elder Till. That was in the 1950s. Mother Mayor died in the in, in the late 90s. Right? But her assistant, the man of God that was with her, took over the prayer. It's been 30 years since we've been there. And he's still there 6 a.m. every morning for 30 years. He's 80 some years old. And called us the other day talking about he's going to buy a new Mercedes $70,000. And don't have a job. You can pray though. You don't have a job. You got prayer. But he got prayer. So the impartation from Mother May. And this is what we're missing in the church. And this is why it was important for Jesus' mother to be in prayer. Because Jesus' mother was a type of Christ in the prayer room. Because every time they looked at a mother, they saw Jesus. Every time they saw Jesus' mother, they saw Jesus. Every time they would look at her, they would remember the words of Jesus. And we disrespect the mothers of the church. And we disrespect the women of the church. And we think that men is running something. You ain't running nothing. You ain't running nothing. The Holy Ghost is running everything. You better know it. That's right. And if a man does not commit his life to the Holy Ghost, sooner or later that man's life is going to be destroyed. He's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down. Because you don't have no couple. Yes. That's very true. Yes. That's why the apostles yes, had to go. He said, go to Jerusalem and tarry. Right. Wait yes, for the power. Yes. 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 Now can you imagine the confusion no that was on them when Jesus left? Yes. Oh, yeah. They didn't know what to do. No People were being killed. People yeah. were being scattered. Mm -hmm. they were, I, mean, I, I, I mean, come on. Losing arms. People uh, 
Put them in the tiger's feet. That's right. Come on here. Tigers eating no. Lions eating on. Go on out there and get that Go to chapter 6. Go to chapter 6 of the book of Acts. Chapter 6. Verse 1. And in those days, when the numbers of the disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily administration. Meaning that because every, every day that they came together, there was food. And so the Grecians were upset because the Hebrews were being taken care of. But the Grecians won. Now listen to what Paul says about the Holy Ghost. That praise then the twelve, the apostolic council, called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve Him. Yeah. That's, why I'm all, that's why I'm always talking to the leadership here about keep the church clean. Make sure it's back. Make sure that the, that, that, that the bathrooms are clean. Make sure the mirror is clean. Make sure every why. Because God ain't called me to clean no tables. What am I saying? I'm saying that the assignment of a man or woman of God is to make sure that they get into the Word. Why? Because every hour I spend cleaning, that's an hour or less of prayer I have. He said, God, listen to what he said. He said, God has not called me. It is not reason that we should leave the Word of God to serve tables. Too many men of God. The reason they kicked the church out and got a bunch of programs in the church is because they're not in the word and they're not in prayer. Every day you're supposed to be. Amen. Yes, you are. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't care what time you do. One o'clock in the morning. I don't care what time you do. You're supposed to be in prayer every day. Little prayer, little power. Yeah. Much prayer, much power. No prayer, no, no, prayer, no, no power. power. Go to God and God will open you. Why am I saying, Lord, well, what you talking about, prayer? Mm -hmm. That's what Bernie back there. What you talking about? He said, Wherefore, brethren, look out mm -hmm. among you seven men. That's what he said. Of honest, of yeah. honest, of oh, honest, honest, of yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. Report full of what? Full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. But what we have done, we find people full of wisdom with no Holy Ghost. And we put them in charge of the church. That's, That's where the spirit of psychology has come to the church. And it's now dominating the church. So when you try to grow a church that's spirit there and spirit filled, people have a problem with speaking in tongues. People have a problem with long words. And that's where witchcraft is. And wisdom, who we will may appoint over this business, but we will give ourselves what verse four continually. To prayer and to the ministry of the word. Both of the word. Yes. You need both. Amen. You got to be in prayer as a man of God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. If you ain't a man of God, you still got to be a man of God because you are a man of God because he died on the cross for your sin. Amen. Amen. That's why every time I meet a man, I say, What's up, man of God? Amen. Because I'm calling those things that be not. There you go. That's what That's right. That's what you do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You got to make a decision. Yeah. What decision are you going to make? Yeah. You going to live your way or you going to live God's way? Come on, come on, come on. So. All right, all right. Your way is not. All about God. All right. Right. Work. But if you obey God, yes. if you keep that simple word, you keep the simple command, oh, I know. the faith of God. Yeah. It's going to rest on your life. Yes. 
So when Jesus ascended, he gave gifts to them. But then he says, Look, I need you to be an intercessor in the earth. You know, there was a season that when we were living in California, when we first got married, every night a child was being shot. Every they call them drive-by shoes. You go back and get that old movie by Queen Latifah and set it off. That's the perfect movie of the reality of how people lived in Los Angeles. Helicopters every night. And don't let Thursday, Friday, Saturday come. What's flying over your life? What's going on in your life? Come on now. Won't you close your eyes and begin to dismiss every negative thing in your life? All right. Come on, begin to dismiss it.